What's up guys, if you record a lot of screencasts like I do, then you'll like this jailbreak tweak. It is called Show My Touch, and as you can see there, you get the little touch indicator right there on the screen with the trailing little tail. It's a pretty nice tweak there. It's called Show My Touch, and if you go into the Settings app after installing it, you'll find the preferences for this tweak. As you'll see here, quite a few different preferences, well, three to be exact. You have a, a kill switch, you have the trailing distance, which you can adjust right there on the fly, so you see the tail isn't as long on the touch indicator. So, of course, it's really short now because it's all the way down. And then you can turn it midway, and you can see the tail grows a little bit, and then turn it all the way up, then you have a long tail like that. Um, and then you also have the colors, which you can adjust right there on the fly. And the thing to note about this tweak is that no respring is required. You can make these changes right there on the fly from the tweak's preferences and have the changes take effect immediately. No resprings required. So that's pretty cool. White doesn't really do too well, especially on that white background there. But uh, I do like all the color options you have there, and I like the ability, as I said again, to disable or enable this tweak and have it uh, change effect right there on the fly. Now, this won't work on your springboard, so if you're looking for something to use on your springboard, you don't wanna use this because it won't work. It won't show up on the springboard. It is, again, called Show My Touch. This is a free jailbreak tweak, so a really good deal here for free. Yes, indeed. You can find it on Cydia's Big Boss Repo. This allows you to uh, have a little touch indicator right there on the screen. It's great for presentations and stuff like that. If you want to try it out, head over to Cydia's Big Boss Repo and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This is Jeff with the iDownload blog.